you just reach at the point a certain step of your life where you lose yourself hey guys good morning or good evening depending on what time you're watching this video so today we're going to talk about how to overcome self-doubt have you ever been in a situation where like you just truly trust yourself but then something happens or someone gets out of your life or like you lose a member of your family or someone that's close to you you don't you don't really have to like lose something but like you just reach at the point at a certain step of your life where you lose yourself or where you start doubting in yourself you start doubting in your talents you start doubting in who you are talking to and it just starts mixing up your life your feelings and also your thoughts but if you have ever been through that but i feel like everyone goes through that at a certain like step of their life and it's the worst feeling ever because you just feel like you cannot move on you feel like you're always going back or you're just staying stuck somewhere but uh, i've been there too and i'm just gonna give you guys like some points or some things that i did that i'm still doing whenever this kind of thought comes back in my head these are steps i try to do they're very simple and um practical so i hope you guys try them and uh, see how it goes the first thing is as i always say like through my videos you have to accept first that you have to work on something on yourself like or in yourself because whenever you don't accept that you have to work on something there's nothing to work about if you don't acknowledge that i have to change i have to um, become a better person i have to do this i have to i actually have to start trusting in myself i have to start believing in myself whenever you have those kind of of thoughts those kind of motives that's when you're going to look for a solution if you don't have that you're not going to look for a solution because we never got to the doctors or we never go to the hospital whenever we don't feel good we only go there for checkups or um when you're feeling bad you know when you're feeling like something different in you so yeah the first point is to first accept that you need to actually look for yourself you you have self-doubt and you need help with it whenever you reach that first step that's really good because it's going to help you look for yourself the second thing that i actually wanted to add in this list because i actually have something that i'm reading um is just do not accept negativity to come in your life do not accept negative words negative people to come into your life like even if you already have those people even if you already um have those kind of people who just tell you that you cannot do this that you cannot go forward or like they never support you you need to find a way to like not be really associating with these people you, you should not you should be a little distant from them because that brings self-doubt every time you feel like you're able to do something every time you feel like you're on a good way on a good route people come and just push you down they come and start saying this nasty bad things about you and it pushes you back like you just have to know who to who to leave in your life who's going to help you look for your uh for your trust like trust in yourself who is going to help you build that trust so first thing first remove all the negativity it's like cleaning um i don't know the dishes right you want your dishes to be clean you want anything to be clean you have to first remove all that junk all that food like all those remaining um nasty things and then you can clean your dishes so my like the way i did it is i had to first of all accept that i have to get rid of some people in my life um it didn't necessarily need to like i didn't have to go and tell them like hey i i have to get rid of you know it's just i had to take more time to myself and just like whenever they say oh let's go out i had to say like hey i have something to do or like i need to stay home blah 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 you know all those it's like an excuse but it's also good for you so whenever you start saying no whenever you start saying you cannot go hang out with these people it's good because it's giving you um time for yourself to look for yourself and it's also giving them a message that you're not really associating with them anymore 
and if you do that thing like twice or three times they're gonna accept they're gonna act they're like they're gonna know the message you're trying to show them and it's actually gonna work and once they are out of your life that's better for you because you now get to build yourself from a new and clean ground whenever you have the opportunity to start building yourself you have to take that opportunity and start doing that actually doing that whenever you're ready to do that uh and you start like off on a clean plate if i can say so yeah if you start on a clean plate the first thing you have to do is stop being negative about yourself like stop saying i cannot do this stop saying i'm, I'm not pretty i'm not like them or like um i can never reach 100k because i'm not like this person or because i'm not i cannot speak like this person you have to stop saying those negative things about you because whatever your mouth says your mind is gonna think that okay and every time your mouth and your mind if they're thinking if they're like in sync and they're all negative it's not gonna help you move it's not gonna help you move forward because if that's what you think that's what you're gonna become that's what that's what you will be let's see if i think that i'm not smart enough to go back to school i'm not gonna go back to school because why would i go back to school i i don't think i'm smart you understand like everything just makes sense together so if i start saying good things about myself if i start saying i'm smart um i want to go higher at i, I don't know Let's say you want to get like a higher position in your job and it's asking for an MBA. You're going to say, okay, I'm smart. I can do this. I can go higher in education. I can go back to school. You just say that you're like motivating yourself, but also putting that in your mind. You're also telling your mind that we are able to do this. You have to be speaking like your mouth and your mind have to be on the same page. If it's negative here and positive here it's gonna be like uh, you know it's not gonna be working it's gonna be like uh, sometimes you you actually go forward and sometimes you go backwards but if your mind and your mouth are actually positive that that really changes all your life and honestly if if you find talking to yourself weird just try it try it once it's gonna help you like whenever you feel down like me for example me every time i feel like um oh i'm alone in this world or like oh i don't have any friends whenever i feel like that kind of mindset is coming in um in my my mind in my brain and everything every time i just remind myself I, i'm like no i am not alone i have family i have siblings who love me i have friends who love me i have a boyfriend who loves me you have to like remind yourself of those good things that you have around you and um it goes back to your mind it's also proven like by science science says every time your you can train your mind to think how you want to think if if that makes sense you can train your mind to think how you want your mind to think voila one other point that i would say is like remember every time you feel like you're doubting in yourself just remember like the compliments that other people tell you remember how you were able to help others it's not it's not saying oh my god i am this i'm that like i'm i'm a hero of someone no it's not that it's just it's just a good reminder to yourself that you are more than like what you think you are you helped this person um let's get something easy you helped this person with their driver's license you help this person with their homework you help this person with their i don't know anything any anything that can come into your mind that you help someone because i i'm sure you help someone somewhere so whenever they come just remind yourself that okay i did help this person this person was happy after speaking to me i brought happiness to this person i put a smile on this face and every time you remember that i don't know i don't know for you but it actually makes me come back to my ses senses like every time i'm like oh this is this is how i feel this is what i did and then i remember someone telling me oh mimi you actually you know the words that you said last time they actually did help me actually this this comes every time to um youtube wise every time i feel like i don't have the words anymore to say every time i feel like 
I don't have the courage to post or to um, to do a video. Someone just someone somewhere. I think I feel like God sends people like to just come and motivate me. Someone somewhere sends me like an email saying, "Oh my God, I just watched your YouTube video. This actually helped me, and I loved it." Nah, nah, nah. You know those those kind of good words. They actually motivate. And whenever it's not, uh, whenever you don't receive those kind of messages, just remember what you did good in someone's life. That also really helps. If, if sometimes you feel like you do not want to remember, because we sometimes it's, it's just you'd be like, oh, okay, I remember I did this, I remember I did that, but it's still not helping. I think the other thing that you would do that I did, and that I still. I see myself doing that like I don't see any wrong thing with that is asking people around you like hey what do you think about me like tell me five things that you like about me or two things that you do not like about me that you think I need to um, improve to become a better person you know if you but do, do not ask this to anybody because not everybody wants to see you happy not everybody wants to see you achieve so you need to ask this to the i don't know two or three um closest people to yourself it could be your family members it could be your friends at school at work anybody that you know that this person okay this person does not know me 100 percent, but at least they know me to a point where i can ask them about my myself because you've been around these people like for more than three years so they they should know like good things about you if they do not know um, you need to question that because that's not normal they need to know some stuff about you unless they're not really the people you think they are but um that's something else but yeah i feel like when you ask your siblings like sometimes i ask my sister hey what do you think i should um do to become better or like what do you think i should say to become better in these situations it could be at church it could be with my friends, you know, sometimes I say, oh my God, I acted this way. How would you act? Like, if you were in this position, how would you act? And then this helps me, like, rebuild my way of thinking about something, you know? And also, whenever people come and tell you, oh, I think um, you're a good person. I feel like you're very open. I feel like you easily welcome people. I feel like you're easy to talk to, you know, those kind of things we're humans every every time we're given like good compliments or good things about us we feel like our brain is smiling our brain is being refreshed because it's like reminding yourself it's like reminding yeah reminding you of who you are of what a person you are because sometimes i remember um oh, i need to drink some water i need to drink my water 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 I remember like there's a day where I I don't remember I think I wore something yeah we're going to church okay and then I did not really wear a clothing that we have to you know when you're going to church you know you know what I'm talking about you need to like dress up according to um, church standards you know as a woman you need to dress like that like this and that day i think i wore something a little too tight and then my sister told me oh this is too tight for you you, you cannot go to church like this and i was like no you know i can do that no, no. and then my mom actually said sometimes sometimes you do not see you do not see what you're showing to people yeah you do not see what you're showing and someone else sees more than what you're seeing so you might think that you are seeing everything about you but the other person is seeing more than what you think so whenever people come and compliment you 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 actually have to accept that you have to take that because that's what they see that's what you are showing them maybe that's not what you think you're showing them but that's what they see which is good that's more I feel like it's more um, genuine and more true because you you are what you show, you are what you say, and you are what you uh, appropriate. Maybe that's why I can say. That. And honestly, if those points um, do not help, 
what I would say this is my go-to this is what I do every time this is literally number one I had to say this in the first place but I decided to put this on um, the last place because I feel like it's it's just like a blanket on everything that I said yeah it covers everything that I said um, if all of that does not help because sometimes you can try everything you can try looking for help um, left and right you can try crying you can try writing anything out you can try I don't know a therapist you can try everything and it doesn't work it still does not work you feel you still feel like you do not trust yourself you still feel like you're self-doubting you still feel like you are not that good the best and good thing to do is pray honestly prayer is just a blanket to everything you pray you need to ask god who am i whenever you ask him he always answers he always delivers okay because he speaks through a lot of ways whenever you ask god who am i who am i meant to be who did you create like sometimes i ask god like god like where do you want Miriam to go? Who do you want Miriam to be friends with? Who do you want Miriam to, to talk to? Who do you want, how do you want Miriam to actually speak whenever I'm talking to people, whenever I'm looking at people? How do you want me to look at them? Every time you ask those simple, simple questions to God, he actually answers. He actually wakes you up in the morning and you just open your Bible. You see a verse that's just the answer to all your questions. Pray. Do not take prayer for granted. I know most of you guys are not Christians, but um, this also works even if you're not a Christian. God always helps. So yeah, that's the biggest and last thing I would say. Pray. Ask God who you are. Ask God to remind you of who you are. Remind you of why he created you. Because I believe that everyone has um, a calling. Everyone has a reason onto why we're in this, we're in this earth. And every time, whenever someone tells you that, oh, you're not meant to be here, you're, you're meant to die, you do not deserve to be happy, you do not deserve to, to have a life, those people are actually just, uh, I don't know how to say, I don't want to be mean, but those people, it's just ugh, nasty. You have to remove those people out of your life. And I actually have to make another video on how to not accept negative people, like, how to not accept negative words to come into your life so yeah i hope uh, these small tips did help you and if you're trying this or like if you're if you're going through a hard step in your life and you do not feel like talking to anyone close to you and if you don't mind talking to me i am here i'm always here i'll put my email in the description box or comment you can like share and yeah, if this really helped you, please, if you don't mind supporting me and subscribe, like, share this video. And I'm going to see you guys next week. Thank you and have yourself a great week. Bye.